so recruitment section has other two subsection which is job applicant and job offer so let's go to the job applicant and understand what it is and how it is created okay so this is the job applicant and you can see the list of all the applicants who have applied so this can be the list of all the applicants who have applied through a web portal or we can also create an applicant if we want to so let's create it as as an HR user you can create a job applicant also so let's create new um, let's consider the name of an applicant as Sarah Smith okay let her email address be Sarah Smith at gmail.com and then sh the job opening is business analyst uh, since this is the particular job uh, like we have the opening for this particular role so that's why it is showing over here business analyst okay so let's go to the source now source can be campaign employee referral walk-in or website list listing so I will select employee referral okay so this is the employee name who have referred it to okay now the status of the job is the job application is open okay now the cover letter um, regarding all that that applying for the this position of business analyst and all that then next we can attach a CV and we can add a phone number too um, let's so should I add it okay let's add it okay then we'll save it okay let's go back so here you can see the new job applicant which is Sarah Smith okay now this was about job applicant now there's one more section and which is job offer now let's create a new job offer okay so here it will show the list of all the applicants who have applied so right now we have created an applicant form for Sarah Smith so let's go okay Sarah Smith so the status uh, it is like uh, the job offer status if she has accepted and will show accepted here but right now it's let's put it awaiting response from her okay and then the offer date let's make it today's date and then designation so she is selected as a business analyst okay since the opening was for business analyst okay now here we can add the job offer terms okay now let's add one term which can be about the annual leaves okay annual leaves okay we can create a new offer term that is annual leaves okay so the annual leaves which are allowed are let's say 12 so this is the job offer term we can have okay now we can add other job offer term if you want to but it's okay this much is okay and then here we can add the terms and condition for the particular uh, for the particular job offer okay now the next thing over here is printing details so um, we can also like add uh, the work culture about the company and we can all, all mention all this over here okay and this printing details part is basically for printing the job offer okay and we can also add the CTC over here the annual CTC can be mentioned and we can mention the uh, the leaf policy of the company and all the different policies can be created in this okay now I'll save it okay, now I'll save it okay let's go back now here you can see oh why is it showing draft let me just submit okay yeah so submit it yes okay now you can see that this is the job offer we have created for Sarah Smith and we are waiting her response so yeah this was about it thank you